creating artwork has always been uh, a form of language for me. And it's a form of language that has always stimulated my cells to a certain degree. And, and I don't think it's just in one part of my body. I think it's it's been able to move throughout my body. Um, and I think I'm a pretty good communicator, but what I communicate through my art, I think is, um, it's like a life energy. Uh, and I think it's more powerful than what I'm able to communicate through my words. And that has always moved my spirit. This work is called Metaphysical Planes of Life. And um, it is a work that I did in graduate school. And during that experience, I was also uh, going through a ailment. That work was about learning to separate the pain that I was going through um, from my reality. And so it's called Metaphysical Planes of Life and it is divided into three planes. I, I've always been really interested in spatial planes. And, and in this work, I'm, I'm looking at spatial planes, but I'm also looking at how uh, the spine works. And then um, the top layer is about the uh, spiritual plane of life or existence, the middle and the way that it's set back with the warm tones and the uh, rice paper is about the emotional state of our existence. And then the lower uh, is the physical plane of existence. For the majority of my, my art experience, my career, I have always worked with collage or assemblages. So I have a built like a plethora of materials when it comes to uh, collaging and um, assemblages. And they're all, uh, to some extent, well, they're actually, they're organized by materials. Um, I, I've got this serious um, Tupperware situation where you have got the clear, you know, so that you know what's in, uh, it, basically by, by sight, you know what's in each, um, each container. I have this uh, collector spirit in me, kind of inherited through my, um, through my, my great grandmother, my grandmother and my mother. Each woman collects uh, different types of things for, of course, a different reason. As you're young, you are drawn to a certain, um, I think, a certain patterns of things that are um, attributed to your character, even even early on. Um, and some of those things will fade away, but others are definitely finite, and they continue to grow um, as your character, as you grow. And I, I, since I was eight, I've known I wanted to be an artist. And so what that meant for me was that I've always had this fascination with using things um, that were either gifted to me, like the universe gifted something to me, um, and or that have a one purpose and then I transform them into something else. So my collections um, began as a child when I used to feel like I was lucky when I would find little things on the street. Um, and then I, it, it, as I grew, it kind of the the, the need to uh, collect um, elevated, and I really knew that I wanted to be an artist early on. So these things that were dropped in my path, in my presence, I knew that they were meant for something else. So that collecting spirit came early. In relationship to the the, the subject matter that my work is usually about, it's one color, but also the experience of being a woman, so womanhood in general. Um, in addition, talking about it through abstraction, usually, the patriarchy um, of this society and how women are um, whew, not treated well, not treated as we're supposed to. And it's, it's amazing to me as I look either on my phone or Instagram or the news and seeing uh, layers of how that is being unfolded and challenged throughout the world. Um, uh, and it's absolutely something that I think I was I had a heightened sense to early on in my life. Um, and I've tried to um, encapsulate it in, through my work. Um, for example, when people see my works in relationship to some of the large scale installations that are definitely about color, rhythm um, and movement, but underneath that, there is a, a narrative. Um, the, the chicken wire itself is about, um, I see that as a masculine structure um, in which that it's hard, it's solid, it's made of a metal, which is absolutely needed in our universe. But 
um, juxtapose that, I use materials that are, and colors that are associated, usually associated with uh, femininity. And I weave them through this masculine form to talk about the balance um, either lacking and are needed in our society. Uh, so that's one way, um, but absolutely in relationship to um, talking about the African diaspora and, and, and racism, that is also one of the underpinnings of my, of my work in general. Um, I know that sometimes uh, that people are drawn to the color, they're drawn to the texture, they're drawn to the materiality, you know, and I welcome that. But I also hope that some um, dig deeper and are looking for a different level of experience.